All right, YouTube, we are back for part five of Star Wars Squadrons. We're going to jump in and play through. We're just getting to the Imperial side of the campaign, or the start of it at least. So let's jump straight in. All right, let's do it. Welcome home, pilot. It feels like a lifetime since Fostar Haven, doesn't it? Okay. One fool betrays his squadron, and loyal officers like us are reassigned in disgrace. I heard they sent you to the Outer Rim. I got the Merim Scepter, protecting fuel shipments from petty scoundrels and pirates. The she sounds salty. That used to end <laughs> careers before Endor. Before Lyndon Javes reappeared. No doubt you've heard. Admiral Sloan has instructed me to hunt that traitor down and end this Project Starhawk. It seemed fitting that I bring you back to help me destroy Lyndon. Your Empire needs you, pilot. Are you willing? Sure. Good. For now, you will be flying as Titan Three. Let's get to work. Nice. What are we flying? I'm guessing just a regular TIE fighter to start off. One of our spies, Agent Thorne, has discovered vital intelligence on Project Starhawk. Your mission is to extract her from an orbital outpost above Hosni and Prime. Okay. Your job is to secure the outpost for our extraction team who will arrive aboard the shuttle Gladius. Behind enemy lines, you must be precise and swift. We have no room for error, Titan. To gain access, you'll have to eliminate perimeter defenses. Intelligence reports missile platforms defending Hosnian space. Destroy them. The Seems simple enough. The is protected by turbo laser cannons on all sides. Evade and eliminate them all. Gotcha. When you've secured the area, you will escort the Gladius to the outpost and our extraction team will acquire Agent Thorn. Once Thorn is secure, reach your Gozanti cruisers and return to the Overseer. Do not lose our spy under any circumstances. That is all. I just want to fly and do the pew pews. The squadron looks lit. Kinda wish I was in an interceptor though, but it is what it is. Boom! I love that the Tire Reaper just jumps to hyperspace on their own. Okie dokie. Of course my battery's low now while I'm recording. Sick. Where are you? Oh, there you are. <laughs> I did a full 360 look under there. Remember, we must be swift and precise. Those scramble fighters quickly. How come he gets an interceptor? I want an interceptor. Rebels arrive. Don't leave. Sounds like a good strategy to me. Titan, approach and eliminate the outpost's outer defenses. Okay. So we've pretty much just got to destroy all these things. Where's the next one? Here? Yeah. No, they don't. Okay, 
Last one. At all of them? Okay, now we gotta go through the outpost. Let's go boys and girls. Emergency power conversion, unshielded ships like a TIE fighter feature an emergency power converter which allows the pilot to instantly convert all power from one system to the other. No, oh, I'm out of range apparently, there we go. Okay, that's cool. So Shen's just gonna resupply you the whole time, pretty much. Let's get a little sneaky little boost drift in here. Shen coming in clutch right now, just giving me health every time I need it. Oh. Ready to go. There he is. Nice. you go.
Nice. Where is he? There he is. Get him, boys. Gotcha. That all of them? No, there's more. Where are you? There you are. Nice. Let's regroup. Closing in on your Titan Squadron. Easy. I'm pretty sure they know you're here. I'm just saying. I could be wrong, but, you know. There you go. Oh, A-wings, okay. Whoa, wait, hey, where are you? Where are you? I can't see. There he is. Out of here. Is it though? Is this where I'm supposed to go? Or I really don't know. Escaping with Agent Thorn is Captain Carroll's strategy. We gain nothing by destroying a single outpost. More enemy fighters inbound. Well, they come to the surface. Only to die in space. Shoot them all down. Get out, I'm coming. I do be getting dizzy though. Here go. I don't think they know what's happening. Okay, this we can do. Oh, hello. Got one. I just feel so slow when I turn, like, so used to playing in an interceptor in dogfight. Oh, I guess I don't have my power balanced as much.
If anyone feels a resupply right now. shooting at me that whole time unless it was a turret okay dope where's the gladius Can do. I see. We're worried about the Corvettes. Okay, I got it now. Oh, we just gotta get these guys out of here. Where's he getting smashed from? Trying. We're coming, boys. Don't worry. I'm with him. Hey, hey, hey. Enough of that. That was easier. Bye. We did it. Squadron, reach the carrier and load up. Let's leave this wretched system. More rebel ships inbound. Okay. That was actually easier than I thought. I thought we had to take down all that man. Jump! Get out of there! Nice work, Titan Three. You're officially part of the squadron now. Mm. Easy dubs. Easy dubs. Keep. Nice. Okay, two medals. Not too bad. What was the medal info? Complete mission four in 13 minutes or less. Mission four without dying. Did I die? Oh, maybe because I failed. I don't know. Uh, collateral damage. It's in the herd. Destroyed all enemies. Yeah, I mean. Did all right. I'll take it. What do we got, story? Hello? When Captain Carroll said she was bringing in one more pilot, I didn't know what to expect. 
I've been flying a long time. This wouldn't be the first squadron I've seen compromised by nepotism. But you did well today, pilot. <clears throat> Most spy extractions end with significantly more casualties. Thanks. If the team had any reservations about you joining Titan Squadron, you certainly put them to rest. I like your neck scarf. Now let's go. Captain Carroll is waiting. Sweet. Agent Ball may not have known the precise location of Project Starhawk, but their intel has pointed us in the right direction. Then we will proceed as planned. Oh, hello. Captain, is this the new pilot? Yes. A valuable addition to the squadron, wouldn't you say? Indeed. Marvelous work securing Agent Thorn. You've exceeded your previous statistics by... Oh, forgive me. I'm so familiar with your profile that I forgot we haven't actually met. I'm LT-514, Imperial Intelligence. Okay. I'm eager to analyze your performance in the upcoming mission. Cool. Captain Carroll, shall we proceed with the briefing? Dude creeps me out. Not gonna lie. A little bit weird. He looks like John Travolta, but if he was bald and short. Agent Thorne's intel has paid off. We've learned that a convoy of New Republic engineers is traveling from Hosnian Prime to Project Starhawk's secret base. Their chartered path leads them straight through the contested territory of DeSevro. According to our new information, the convoy will attempt to conceal its presence in a local debris field. Follow the convoy through the wreckage and allow them to jump to hyperspace. We will calculate all possible destinations along their trajectory to find Project Starhawk. You must not be detected. We cannot risk losing this convoy. Okay. Local Imperial forces have been advised not to interfere. That's handy. Once the convoy is clear of the debris, it will leave the system, pointing us toward their hidden headquarters. Once we have their jump vector, return to the Overseer and prepare for immediate redeployment. Okie dokie. Can do. All right, that's where we're going to leave episode five, guys. Like I said, this will be uh, the first Imperial mission done. We are going to go on to the second Imperial mission very shortly. So keep your eyes tuned. I will see you guys very soon. Thank you for tuning in. And may the force be with you always.